हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम नाउ लेट्स क्यूकली चेक द टूडे मॉड्यूल स्कीमा so in today's video we are doing a deep dive into the intune win file then we will discuss about the win32 application installation flow and then the detailed log flow for the win32 application after that we will be discussing the registry location for win32 application deployment and then we will discuss about the enforcement status compliance status application deployment intent and desired status and their respective values so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos so in the previous video we covered the basics of deploying win32 application including detection logic requirement rules supersedence and dependency and this slide is from that video in which we created and deployed a simple firefox msi application and if you need more information please refer to the previous video and i will also include the link in the description section so for this video i am assuming that you already have created a intune win32 application by running intune win app utility.exe and by providing the source location setup file and output file and after that we will get a intune win application inside the output folder now let's do a deep dive into dot intune win file which we created in the previous step so if we change the dot intune win extension to dot zip we can see the contents of the dot intune win file and this can help us to understand how some of the basic application informations are automatically populating after uploading the intune win file in intune portal now we can see that after changing the dot intune win extension to dot chip extension and extracting it it contains the intune win package folder which has two subfolders called contents and metadata the content folder contains the actual intune package file which is nothing but the setup file we can verify the size of the file which should be almost the same as the original file and the metadata folder contains the detection.xml file which includes information such as application name and application version encryption key and the encryption algorithm and the application msi information including product code version execution context reboot required and publisher including many other information now let's do a deep dive into intune win32 application installation flow so when admin is creating and deploying win32 application the intune management extension is automatically installed and then intune management extension agent started and running few checks after that intune management extension is fetching the policies applied on the device once the policy reached on the device the very first step is to check the dependency if there is any dependency associated with the application intune is going to install that application first after that the detection rule is checked for the application and if application is not already installed then the applicability is checked for the application once the application is applicable for the device machine is downloading the content verifying the content is encrypted then it start decrypting the content and then unzipping the content during this stage content is moving from one folder to another folder and then ime agent is going to start the application installation and then it's going to manage the reboot once the application is installed on the device ime agent is going to reevaluate the detection rule 
to ensure that the application is installed on the device and after that IME agent is setting the compliance status within the registry and sending the installation status in Intune via Intune management extension. So when the IME agent is installed and it's running few checks, it's going to check whether the device is in S mode or not and the content manager is going to collect the device ID and the operating system version and after that it starts impersonation of users and getting the token once the policy is reached to the device we can verify by searching with get policy it contains all the information about the application like basic information installation command uninstallation command what is the detection logic we configured in the application if there is any dependency we associated in the application that also we can verify in the policy and then it's all we can also verify the reboot behavior and the notification behavior once the policy is evaluated ime is going to check the dependency for the application ime agent is going to download and install that application first and then is going to evaluate the detection rule for the application so if the app is detected on the device at this stage the downloading and installation attempt for the application is skipped once the ime agent is detected that application is not installed on the device then it is going to check the applicability whatever we configured in the intune portal it's going to check the minimum requirement as well as the custom requirement once the applicability is checked then ime is downloading the content verifying the content is encrypted then it's decrypting the content and then it's unzipping the file moving from staging to staged and then move to the ime cache for the installation purpose after that IME agent is started installing the application based on the command line we mentioned during the app creation. Once the application is installed on the device, Intune is going to re-evaluate the detection rule to ensure that the application is installed properly by verifying and checking the registry value if we configure the detection rule based on the registry value then it's going to set the compliance status then the reporting manager update the status in the registry and send the status to intune via ime agent as well as the user is also notified with the installation status via toaster notification now let's perform a detailed log flow analysis for win32 application and including everything we previously discussed in the provided slide flowchart so we are assuming that the admin has already created and deployed the win32 application and this is the first time the admin is deploying the win32 or script on the device. In the second step the IME agent is automatically installed on the device and this is a one time activity. In the third step Intune management extension starts running few checks as we can see in the logs that it is finding the device id as well as the os version then it's checking if the device is in s mode or not after that it start impersonation for the user chandramani pandey we can see that it is able to successfully get the token for the client id starting with fc and the resource id starting with 26a4 now in the fourth step policy is reached on the device which can be confirmed by searching the keyword get policies in the log in the log we can see details such as policy id application name application deployment intent detection rule install command line uninstall command line requirement rule like minimum disk space and minimum windows built version we can also see the device restart behavior and installation exit code additionally we can see that the dependency is null along with other attributes now in the fifth step dependencies are checked for the application discovered in the above step 
if any dependency are discovered then the dependent application is downloaded and installed first however in our example we have not configured any dependency which is why this step is being skipped now in the sixth step detection rules are checked for the application using the detection action handler we can see that in logs it's checking the detection for one application and it's checking the detection for the policy id starts with 6164 which is the policy for mozilla firefox detecting the registry path we configured during application creation in the intune portal and confirming that the application is not detected indicating that it's not installed on the system now in the seventh step after detecting that the application is not installed on the device the applicability is checked for the application as we can see in the log that the applicability action handler is evoked for one app applicability check it's checking whether the operating system architecture is true or not and then it's checking the minimum expected operating system version and compare it with the client version the handler is skipping the other checks because we have not configured them in the intune portal after evaluating the applicability it shows the status as success and the applicability status is applicable now in the eighth step ime agent is downloading the content verifying encrypted content decrypting the content and unzipping it during this step the user receives a toaster notification for downloading and installing the application the content started downloading in the c program file x86 under that microsoft intune management extension within that we have content and then incoming folder after that the ime agent starts verifying the encrypted hash and then it starts decrypting the sidecar content information we can see in the log that the hmac validation is passed and then it starts decrypting the content we can also see the downloaded file size and the time after that it unzip the file from the staging folder to the c windows ime cache folder so during the downloading and installing phase content is moved from one folder to another folder as shown in this slide the content is first downloaded in the incoming folder then the ime agent decrypts it in the staging folder and afterward the content is unzipped in the ime cache folder from where the intune management extension is installing the application in system context in the ninth step the ime agent starts installing the application the first step is to prepare the command line for the system context then it sets the current directory to c windows ime cache then it launches the win32 app installer in the machine session and monitors the installation exit code and then it sets the enforcement state messages and verifying the exit code and checks the device restart behavior and set the current directory back to c windows system 32 tenth step is to reevaluate the detection rule in which it again checking the detection for one application we can see in the log that it's checking the detection rule for the policy id 6164 which is the policy for mozilla firefox it is detecting the registry path we configured during application creation in the engine portal and confirming that the application is detected as true indicating that the application is installed on the system in the next step the ime agent sets the compliance status and reports the installation status we can see in the log that the reporting manager is updating the application status as installed and the user is also getting a toaster notification for the installation status the reporting manager sending the status report and updating the compliance status message and enforcement status message under registry now let's do a detailed analysis of win32 application registry information so when a win32 application is deployed on a device 
इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन एंड इट्स डिप्लॉयमेंट स्टेटस इज स्टोर्ड इन ए स्पेसिफिक रजिस्ट्री लोकेशन एंड दिस रजिस्ट्री लोकेशन फॉर विन थर्टी टू एप्लीकेशन कैन बी फाउंड एट एच के एल एम सॉफ्टवेयर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड देन इन ट्यून मैनेजमेंट एक्सटेंशन एंड देन वी हैव ए फोल्डर कॉल्ड विन थर्टी टू एप्स सो विद इन द विन थर्टी टू एप रजिस्ट्री लोकेशन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एस आई डीज द फर्स्ट एस आई डी स्टार्ट विद जीरो 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 एंड इट इज यूज फॉर द डिवाइस बेस एप्लीकेशन डिप्लॉयमेंट एंड द सेकेंड एस आई डी इज द यूजर ऑब्जेक्ट आई डी विच स्टोर ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन डिप्लॉयड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर यूजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस स्क्रीन शॉट वी कैन सी दैट द एस आई डी स्टार्ट विद सी एट फोर टू इज द ऑब्जेक्ट आई डी फॉर द यूजर चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड सिक्स वन सिक्स फोर इज द मोजिला फायरफॉक्स एप्लीकेशन आई डी अंडर द यूजर और डिवाइस एस आई डी वी कैन सी द मल्टीपल आई डीज एंड दीज आर दिन थर्टी टू एप्लीकेशन आई डीज डिप्लॉयड फ्रॉम द इन ट्यून ईच एप्लीकेशन आई डी कंटेन्स टू रजिस्ट्री कीज द वेरी फर्स्ट वन इज द कंप्लाइंस स्टेटस मैसेज एंड द सेकेंड वन इज द एनफोर्समेंट स्टेटस मैसेज सो कंप्लाइंस स्टेटस मैसेज कंटेन्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द कंप्लाइंस स्टेटस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑन द डिवाइस वेर इट इज इंस्टॉल्ड एंड द एनफोर्समेंट स्टेटस मैसेज कंटेन्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द एनफोर्समेंट स्टेटस ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑन द डिवाइस वेर इट इज इंस्टॉल्ड specifically it provides information about whether the application has been installed uninstalled or it is in process of being installed or uninstalled now let's talk about the few important values related to win32 application management such as enforcement status values compliance status values application deployment intent value and the desired status values so enforcement status provides information about the progress of the application deployment including whether the application is in the process of being installed has been installed successfully or has been uninstalled for example some common enforcement status values includes 1000 meaning that the successfully deployment 1003 meaning that the receive command line to install the application 2000 refers to the enforcement is in progress 2009 value refers to the application is downloaded but no installation has been attempted 5000 value refers enforcement action failed due to an error and 5003 value refers to the client not able to download the app content we can use the enforcement status information to monitor the progress of win32 application deployment and take the action if necessary this helps to ensure that the application are correctly deployed and functioning as expected compliance status provides information about whether the installed application is in compliance with the policy or the standards set in the application for example compliant status value 1 meaning that the application is compliant 2 means that not compliant 3 means conflict and 4 means error so with respect to application deployment intent it refers to the action that is intended to be taken on the device when the application is deployed like intent value 1 meaning that the application is deployed in available mode three means that application is deployed in required mode and, and the value four is to uninstall the application with respect to desired state value it refers to the state that the intune admin wants to win 32 application to be on the device for an example desired status value one means that the application is not present two means that the application is present on the device three means that the unknown status and four means that the application is available i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video